here. So I've cut these 10 inches. And right now we're going to do 18. We've got 18 of each color. The orange and the black. So, and then I'll cut the other two colors there. But see, those are the ones that we're doing. The black, the gold, and this one's got the orange. And then the purple has, has just a little bit darker color. So I'm going to put these together so you guys can see. Right? All these colors go with the sign because you got the purple in there. you got the orange. And then you've got the black in and around, right? So, and then this in the gold. Got 18 of these two colors. Okay, there we go. We got the mesh cut at 10 inches, and there's 18 pieces. Guys. I'm going to show you this and then I'll explain. I forgot to put hit record. Hopefully my battery is getting charged because my, my tablet just went blank and it wasn't plugged in properly. So this pedal, the one we did before, we had the raw, the factory edges on the outside and then you met these up like this and then you gathered it, right? This one, you have your raw edges on the outside. And then you fold it over a little bit, and you fold it over a little bit, and then you start folding it over and over and over and over. Right? So I do. I'm. It's. E I find it easier because you. You can do it at the same time, but I find it easier. Well, I can handle it this way better. So then I just roll and roll and roll the top. Then I get to a point where. The top one, I roll over like this, right? And then there we go. That's your pedal. So now I got these. I had them all set up. So then I put them all together, and I try to do it so that the, the side that we rolled, where it meets together, faces the same way. Okay? Like that, right? So now what we're going to do is I just turn it like, I and mean, then you, you kind of fold it so that you've got it in the center. So I'm doing a little different than how she did it, because she was she would attach it to her wreath base, but she would go like this. Like she had a bigger sized one, but she would go into these two, and then she would just attach it to that, and then and then it would go like this, right? I might try that on a different one, but not this one. So what I do with this, then I get my little, little elastics, and I put them on here, right, like that. I try to go in roughly an inch. I'm, I don't like, I'm trying not to go that far in, as you will see here, right? Some of them are not, because like this one here, I, I don't know if it's tight enough. Okay, I gotta get this guy out of here. He's in the way. So, as you can see, each color has made it to the middle. Right? You got purple, black, um, the three colors, and then the orange. So, that's what I decided to do is alternate them. Right? So now, we're, we started back to where we began, right? The black on the outside, then the orange, then this one, then purple in the middle. So hopefully, so now you see how the difference, see how the where the edges that we met when we rolled it, or on, where I faced that down, so that it, so it looks like that. So then I take my, I got the, I got these ones a little stronger, right? So I just put it around this frame and then I tuck it in there and I, I trying to get it to go as close. I try to keep it so it, it covers the, uh, the elastic. And then the other thing I'm trying to do as I'm doing this, there you go, 
as tight as you can, but I want to try and keep this on the sides. So the sign, hopefully the sign, once we get the sign on there, it'll cover that. If not, I have to figure something out for that. But for now, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this off. And we'll, we'll do one more petal. But see, then after, once we get these all on here, I'll spread it out. And then we'll see how it looks, right? But see, that's how it looks. Right? I think it's going to look really good. But I think I might put another zip tie. This one's not too bad because this one's attached to this part here, right? But I'm thinking... I wonder if I put another... Like I did on the on the wreath base. Why wreath form? Put another one this way and it'll straighten them out, right? So I'm going to pause and then I'm going to see. I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. Okay, you guys. So I double, I did the cross with that like I did on the, the, the wreath. And it does make a difference. So I'll do this one with you. And then I'm going to pause because I want to take a picture of this. So this one goes this way. So... I'm still trying to get the zap strap to sit so that this is not on the top, right? Because this one I gotta move. But so if I try and pull it on the side like this, then I tighten it with the little nose. Because I don't want that. Okay, there we go. But you see what I mean? It's so much better now. They're not... I don't know if that's the style it should be, but I, I, I like it when they're kind of like... So I think that looks much better. What do you think? And then there's the back. Right? Still neat, tidy. Some of these are sticking out in a little bit too much, but I try and keep them about the same, but i got to be careful with the elastics. I want to make sure that everything's tight and together. So I... Let me pause and take a picture, and um, I'm going to get some more on, and then I'll keep you guys, I'll show you guys probably the last two or three. I might get the petals done up, and then just put them all together. Okay, you guys, I got three more bundles done. So, let's get them on, and then see... How many more we're going to need? Again, I'm going to try and get these so it's there. Tighten it up. Trim it off. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, oops, we're going to go the opposite way. Now you can use, um, if you want it to, you could use this size. This is a 6 inch. And I think these are 7 or 8 inch. I can't remember now. But you can use whichever size of them. Um, zap straps you want to use. There we go. Next one. Okay, so now, so see how I'm, um, so, so this one and this one are the same. So we're alternating, right? So this is the next one. It'll be the orange on the outside and the plaid or whatever you want to call that on the inside. So I'm going to go this way on this one. I'm just trying to figure out how many more I'm going to need. Because I count, I like we cut 18 of each color, right? So it should be enough, I would think. Because 
the, the other option is to see if we need to spread them out a little bit. But um, I don't know. We'll see once we get these ones on, and then we'll see what I think. If I like it, if I need. I should have enough mesh to do. If I need to cut more, I should have enough. be a big mesh. This frame is, hang on, hang on, I'll give you guys an idea. This frame itself is nine, it's a nine inch round. So with the mesh on it, it's going to end off being probably well, let's go this way. We'll be able to measure it this way. But we're probably looking at uh, it's going to be probably so if we put one here, twenty-five inch, twenty-five. No, it can't be. Anyhow, see how it's looking? I love it. <laughs> okay, let's get this other one on. Oh. Washer's done. I gotta go change my washer. So we'll put this one on. Because now we're back to starting with the black on the outside. And with putting these zap straps like this, I think it just gives it that extra protection. Because I got the elastic, but then this gives it the extra security to keep that the mesh is going to stay on the frame, right? I'm gonna do three more, get three more ready, and then let's I'm just gonna see. I can't move that one, but I can move probably move these ones. So let's see if we can move them and spread them out. Let's see how it looks. Just barely able to move them. Because if you spread them out, right, so you can see all the colors. It might, oh, I gotta move it more. I might not need it too many more. So I just wanted to get, check this out just to see, because maybe the next time when I make it, I know, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's spread these out. This poor guy, he's a, he seems to be small. This guy spread out pretty good. And let's spread out this guy. This guy spread out pretty good. Right? Because what we could do is put we could put another one right here too, I think, is what I'm thinking. This might be enough. Let's see here. There's, you got that one 
on the outside. And you got the purple. And you got the black. And you got this one. So they're spread out, right? Okay. Yeah. Because we can put something smaller on the inside. I have to figure out what that is, though. But we'll see once we put the sign on. And then... too much of a space in between. This one might need one more on here. But I don't want to start a new uh, because it would be this one. We don't want that there. thinking look at that look at this did you, did you guys just see this I just noticed this so look at, I just noticed these two across from each other these two across from each other these two across from each other and then these two across from each other in that something okay let's get the sign and see Okay, I'm going to pause because I'm going to try something else for the uh, around the edge here. Okay guys, what do you think of that? So let me figure out where I want to put it. See like this has to be spread out more now. So let's spread these guys out. Because in this way, oops, that's a little bit too far. Just need this one. Move a little bit more. There we go. Thank you. So I'm debating if I should just do them all the same, or like switch them out, like to have these two out and then these two inside. But this is what I'm thinking. So if we do that, that fills that in, right, nicely, right? And then, when you get the sign on there, look at that. Everything will be covered. So I think that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to show you how I did this. Okay. But let's attach this one, and let's start it right here because this is where we uh, we originally started right here right so let's see how that let's get it on here and then we'll see how much we have to spread out oh yeah I think I'm gonna like that okay it's a tie it's pretty thick so I'm just gonna move this guy out of my way for now but he's pretty thick. But I just thought, you know what? Let's do something different. It's totally different. This is a new pedal for me. <laughs> I like it. I like this pet. I like this because the way I did it is you. Yeah. So let's see. I want this at the top. Right? You want that at the top so it covers, right? But you got to be careful because you don't want the phrase edges to come out, right? So here we go. We'll put it here. Okay. Same thing. Got to try and get that down there. Right. But you see? So now, I'm going to turn that. Wow. 
Okay, so now we need to put another one on. Go the opposite way. And the only reason why I'm doing that is to extra security and to kind of straighten out your pedal, right? What do we call this pedal? I don't know. Help me come up with a name. Let your creativity shine pedal? I don't know. Okay, there we go. It's on. So I'm thinking I might have to overlap these guys. i to get this back in there. So what I think is these two need to kind of be overlapped more, right? So because as soon as you, or should go which way? This way maybe. But figure out which, how you're going to, because these you got to be careful, they have to go kind of like, so this, the next one will go under here, right? But, um, so I'll give you a closer look. i just move these all around. So you guys can see. It turned out to be, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a simple one. Then I just, boom, my, my mind just goes, oh, try this. <laughs> okay. So this one can go back over a little bit like that. Yeah. Look at that. I think it's going to work. I really do. So now I'll alternate. Now we'll have these two back here and those two at the front. So I'm going to show you how I did those. So we'll go with the... We'll do these ones first. Those are the ones... They're going to be out. Okay. So same thing as before. Fold them like that. Raw edges this way. And then you just keep turning it. I try and do as much as I can for this one first. And I put my hand there and then I just twist. And then I get it over top. Like that. And then I do this. Okay. So one more time. You've got your raw edges at the end facing out that way. Same thing. You can go as tight or as loose as you want. I know there's a pedal out there I forget, that's like this, but I can't remember the name of it. Okay. And then you, you do that. Okay. I'll show you, once I get the other two done, then I'll show you what I did with that. So with these ones, um, what I did is I folded them this way, the raw edges together, right? And then, but first, here's what I did. Here's what we, let's do this. Let's put a clip here. Let's put a clip here. You can fold it in as much as you want. Now, if you, if you cut your mesh with the wood burning tool, you wouldn't have to do that, right? Because the wood burning tool would would seal it, right? Well, it should it should prevent it from having a lot of fraying, right? So then you just fold it over, right? Fold it over, and then I uh, take one off, and I hold it like that. Get the corners together, right? Same thing on this side. I'll grab it. I try and keep it as even as possible because it, it, it does work, make the petal look nicer. So then once you get that done, I just make sure that that both sides are as even as possible. So let me just let me just get this guy pinned. And I'm gonna fix this guy. So I'm going to fold him over more, and then that way, see? 
So now, what you do is you just pull like this. It's kind of like that other petal I did, but this one I'm just doing it like that. But see, and that's what you get. You know, just a simple little petal. Then I put this guy on, right? To hold it together. So then I do the next color, which is the black. Same thing. Keep rolling. Oh no. <laughs> Same thing. Denise, what are you doing? Okay, what am I doing? Okay, so now. I think this time I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one in the middle. Because in that way it's easier to when I fold it, it'd be easier. Okay, so one side. Hose pins come in handy. Okay, so this one I'm just gonna go ahead and put them here. I try and keep them as even as possible so that what's inside is even. Okay, next, then we do take this one. So there's another, the other option is you could start pinching like this, like you would do that other petal that I usually do. It's the same idea, right? You should go like that. But I don't know if it's going to be, let's see, oh yeah, that works. So then what I do, I think I'm going to keep doing it the way I did that one, right? So then I take this one. This time, last time I didn't put, I didn't put an elastic on, but this time I'm going to put an elastic on here. And then when I do the other, join the other pedal, it'll be an elastic as well. And then we'll zap strap it to the wreath base. Let's see, I just put elastic on there. I want to see, um, just kind of overlap it more. So we'll look, I just want to see something here. Because then this guy will go kind of like over top of there. Right? Okay, so now I'm going to put these on the way. So this one, what I did um it's like we what we did on the other pet um the other petal that we did we want that one day it's the same idea but you crisscross them right and you twist it like that right and then this one would be this one would be here and then this one would go in the middle like this. Did I get it? Got it. See like that? So I just make sure that the side I want facing the out is there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and put it over top of this one. Right? Now, and then I'm going to let this hang a little bit more and then we're going to do this. I think that then I can make a whole bunch at once, right? And then just go ahead and put them all on so you guys can watch. What do you think? So I'm going to make a few more and then uh, we'll be back to see how I get it on. I put it on there. Okay, I got two more done. 
So let's attach them. So we're gonna go we're gonna go here like this. Once we get the other one on, then we'll put the sign back on and we'll have a better idea how it's going to look, right? How much coverage there is. So I'm alternating. You sharpen these guys. <laughs> okay, so I need to go in the opposite direction. You know, I never really thought of using doing something like that with one of these, but then I thought, you know what? Why not? So that's why we're doing it. that guy into here. So like I was saying, oh, come on, we're alternating. So this one had, I'm going to call this plaid, or whatever you, it's called, and then the purple, and then you had the orange and the black at the back. This one, I got this at the front, right, the orange. And then the black and purple at the, at the back. Now this one I did completely different. We got the black and orange at the front. And then the purple and this plaid at the back. So now we're going to move this guy over. Right? I should actually measure. Like I want to get, oh, well, got to fold this back in there because the fray is coming home. So I'm just looking to see if I need to pull this guy more or if we just leave it like that. I think we leave it like that. Gives it more coverage. So now this guy is going to go here. Okay. So I'm wondering if I should skip this one and put this one here. Yeah, and then have a purple. The purple and black one will go here. Yeah, so let me make, let's make another one. Yeah, let's go, let's just make, but so far, let's see, we got those two on there. Let's see. It's still, I'm going to have to take this off, I'm going to have to fix this. Um, that needs to come down. So, I'm going to pause. So we're putting in the last two petals and you guys will get a chance to see what it looks like here. So there's that one. Now, we don't, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So I'm going to slide this guy over. Like that. And we're going to squeeze in because we only had, we, have eight, we cut 18 of each petal, right? Well, I had one left, so I just decided to go ahead and make another one and put it in. It won't have the other um, the other petal behind it but um, let's, get, let's get this guy in. I 
I just got an idea for um, another design for the blue bird. Actually, it's the blue jay. The blue jay. I have another blue jay. So I just come up with an idea. I think it would look sharp. Okay. One more zip tie and then this this part's done. So in total 18 of each color. So 18 times 4. That's how many um pieces of mesh we used. So just so you guys know, okay, let's do this one over here. So these ones here, because they're tucked in, you can just tuck them back in, right? How am I doing that? Yeah, like that? So there we go. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna get this all back in the way. Now we can take a nice picture. I'm gonna go up like this. Because it's big. Literally, you guys, I started off with, I think, the, what was this, 9 or 10 inch? Now, this wreath is at, from petal, from petal to petal, it's 25 inches. It's turned out to be a big wreath. Okay, now we got the sign. So there's where the sign would go in. But you see all this gap here? I want to put something in there. I gotta figure out what to put in there. So, I do have this green. We could pop it in. But that's a lot of work. <laughs> So this is what I'm thinking. Is maybe we can do like loops of. This has got green in it. I don't want anything too big. As you see, you got the maple leaves. So I was wondering, thinking maybe if I can attach these and just do loops all the way around, right? So, for example, if you go like this. Right? Then you have a loop like this. So say you make it so that the maple leaf shows. The other option is to do something like this. So do many little bows. Right? And just crunch it up. And then have it all the way around. I'm going to pause and I'm going to uh, try and figure this out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, let's see if we can attach the sign. So what I wanted to show you is that we're, because these are tucked in, so if they, they come up, they come out, you just got to tuck them back in. Here's what I've, I figured out. I could try and spread these so they go in more. Like that. But that's going to take a lot for it to stay like that, right? 
So what I've decided, once I get the sign in, I just put, oh great, I just put um, stems on these pumpkins here. You'll see, you'll see here. So I've got five white. I think a five purple and then four green and four orange. So we're gonna incorporate them. So it's, there's like 18 right here, right? So we're gonna incorporate those. So let's see about getting the sign attached. Just like it's got the two holes here, but I don't like using those. So I think we're gonna go here. See, the other option is to put the sign, we could go this way, have the sign, no, we can't do that. Anyhow. So, I am think I'm going to put table mounts right in here, and then here and here, and then that way we can secure it with them. Um, and then we'll make sure, and then... Then we'll go around and we'll glue in the pumpkins. So I don't know how, if it's going to work, or how it's going to look, but it's going to be, if I have enough of these colors made up, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to like the pump. I don't think I'm going to put the pumpkins in. It's not, um, So let's just get the sign in and then we'll figure out what to do with it. I'll look at it when it's put up, hung up. So let's get the paper mounts on there. You might only need two because these are the big ones. Let's see. We put one there. Oh, that's. There's the hat. So if we put one there. One there. I think we might be okay with just the two. I don't normally put that many on, so I need this. I am using my crazy glue on this. Okay. I just estimate approximately, you guys. And we'll take this. And then you just put some on the outside. Sometimes you, I do hot glue, but I'm not plugging that in for that for that. So So then while this is drying, we're going to try something. Those pumpkins will have to be for another project. Okay. So, I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Bring this guy back. And then... This is what I'm thinking. I don't have purple, I don't have black ribbon that I want to use, so I thought the orange would be the better one. So what I'm thinking of doing is just making little loops and then tying them in. Little loops, like a, so for example, 
let's say we do this and then we'll do a loop right and then we tie the loop in but I want the loop to be this way so when the sign goes in the sign will be kind of underneath this and it'll cover the mechanics so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put it in so I think first off I need to cut if that's the how big I want them I'll go a little bit smaller so let's cut these out okay so these are going to be roughly, let's count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven inches. So the other option what we could do is we could put tails. No, I don't want to put tails. So they're going to be seven inches, so I'm just going to keep folding. Like this, right? So you gotta count. So if we have one in each each spot here, so one. So that's that's where the beginning. I gotta make sure when I put my sign in, I want the sign to be at the same end as this guy. So there's the beginning. So let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen, eighteen. Where am I? Seventeen, eighteen. So I was right. Eighteen of these be the same as as the petals right 18 of each color well there's more than 18 on there now right no we cut 18 of each color and they're all on there so let's see where we're at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, is that 18? Should be, eh? this pretty thick. I'm gonna have to try and sharpen my scissors on my knife thing. Well, these are cut funny now. Okay, so there's 18 of them. Okay, so now, so if we fold them and we pinch them, right, then we gotta attach them. How am I going to attach them? It's a question. So we could put a little elastic on these. Right? So let's, let's do that first. We'll get all the elastics on them. So I'm going to pause. Let's see. There's the elastic on it. And then when I attach them, I think I'm going to attach them with the zip tie, but this size. Right? I'll have to figure it out, but I'm not 100% sure. You see what I mean? So if we put those in, let's see, I'm going to tuck this guy in here. Okay, I'm just going to tuck it in there. Grab the sign. 
still drying. So if we put the sign in, the sign goes over top of that. Do I need to make them smaller? So what's the other option is if we go like this. What if we go like this, pinch it like that, right? And then have like a little little ribbon tail. So it goes in like this. Actually, I might do that. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so one end is going to get, we're going to dovetail, and the other end is going to be, and then we'll put the little elastic in the middle. So I'm going to do this, and I will be back. Okay, guys, to dovetail, you fold these in. And then you cut at an angle, and there's your dovetail, okay? So I'm going to keep, we're going to do these. So you can do it one at a time, or depending on the ribbon, sometimes you can do two or three. Let's try with two. Sometimes if it gets really thick, it's hard to cut through, right? There we go. So let's get those dovetails, and then we'll get them. I'll start doing the, um... Okay. Again. Okay. I'm going to get those done. Okay, guys. I'm going to do the last two so you guys can see again what I'm doing. So I just fold it, you know, about... I don't know, it's a couple inches, and then you just try and gather it together, pinch it together, and you take your little elastic, and you try and grab it so that you grab most of the stuff inside here, because if you don't, it'll come apart. And then I just keep twisting it around until I feel that it's tight enough, and then I just kind of like go like this. And then once we get them attached, we can fluff them out, right? But that's what it's going to look like. Once it goes in on the wreath, it's going to go like that. It's going to have a tail and a little bit. Just enough to cover the, the mechanics, right? That's why I'm doing this. So it's, that's a good idea to keep in mind when you're doing... Um, you can add stuff like this to any wreath. Just for um, extra decoration or... Just to add that extra texture and then also to, to cover up mechanics, right? So there we go. These guys are all done. We're ready to put them in. So I'm going to move these, I'm going to pause, move these pumpkins out of the way and then we can get at it. Okay, so to add these, I think we're going to use the small zip ties. Right? I put my lights on. Okay, to add these, we're going to... I'm repeating myself again. So we're going to try and go in between like this. And see. Let me see how that's going to look. Because I want to make sure we're covering... Yeah. So you're going to take your zip tie. Hmm. We're going to bring it, how are we going to do this? Because it has to kind of go to the back. So let's see. There we go. Where are you? that's going to work. We'll put 
a couple in with you. Right? And we'll go from there. So, where am I starting that wrong end? I want it to start at the other end. We'll, we'll start, we'll go this way. Okay. So, let's get this guy in going. I think I'm going to go around and just put these in. Like this. And then that way, all I got to do so. I'm just going to pause. I'm going to get these zip ties in all the way around. And then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, we're down to the last two. This is what it's looking like. I got to fluff it out. Once I get the, the sign's going to go underneath, right? So I just fold it in, put them in the zip tie, and then I try and get it so that this is more all even to do the uh, the base, and then we go. Okay, and we just trim that. And then this will get off, getting covered from each side, right? At least I hope. At least that's the hope. <laughs> so I think this um, ribbon is like a burlap. That's what it looks like. The, the good one, the one that you don't have to wear a mask. That is. Then when you're putting it in, you make sure you put it in so that the, the, the back part where you got, where it's got gathered together, where it is at the back. So we get that there like that, and then we get this. There we go. I think I could have made them a little bit bigger. So that's good to know for the next time. Okay, now we're going to try and get the sign in, but I wanted to place the sign in so you guys have an idea of what I'm talking about. And this time, so you got to move all of these out of the way, right? And I'll show you why. Let's see, look. This is why we did this. So that he can be tucked in underneath and then these will come over top. At least <laughs> that was my thought process, but we'll see how that works. Okay, but you see what I mean? There we go. So let's get some Chanel stems, get a couple Chanel stems and we'll get this guy tied in and then we can get this all done up, make it look pretty. So I'll be right back. Okay, so when you add, oh this one broke, huh, weird. So I try to get it kind of even so that it's in the middle. And then I twist tie once, sometimes twice and sometimes three times. I go we get one more. Okay, I don't think that glue's dry yet. So then we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach it to the frame, right? And you just gotta make sure we get this underneath here, and that it's even to that guy. I want 
want the hat of the cat even to this this guy so be right there so let's get this guy attached on we'll get it through here You gotta make sure we get it underneath the ribbon, right? So let's see here. Come on. Put that one. And we got that guy there. And this guy's on the other side. So we got that. Okay. And then we need to do the orange. Which should be. fun part is going to be getting this all up and this underneath right before we tie it in I want to make sure we can get that under there okay just back under there Flip it over. I'm just gonna make sure my it needs to turn a little bit. About right there. Okay. So you see where we got this guy? We're gonna tie him here. I'm not tying too tight yet because I want to see how it looks. So we can go a little tighter. Right. I think that's what I'm going to do is get a little tighter on both sides. So we'll do this side first. just going to tuck in underneath here. Right? Now this one, I have to go wash my hands after because I think I got uh, crazy glue on my finger. There we go. Same thing. We'll just tuck it underneath here. So now we can fluff. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting something like this. Oh, that's too. Let's try this guy. Let's see if we can use this to kind of fluff it up. No, oh, that's too. There we go. I just need something to help me fluff it up. But I'm thinking it's almost like there's the spacing as well in a way, but let's see. So I'm going to get this done, get this fluffed up and then we'll, I will show you guys what it's looking like. So basically this is all I'm going to do is go around 
and see if, make sure I don't flatten it out again and then just fluff it up right okay so I will be back okay you guys look at I got it all fluffed out um, let me just fix this one here because I can see some mechanics but yeah I might have to fluff this part over again but because every time I was going around I kept pushing the one beside I just did down but but see there we go I'm going to hold it up and see what you guys think look at that isn't she beautiful? She's such a cutie pie. Hey guys, this one's a wrap. So thank you 